Zombie Apocalypse. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and uh, today I'm here with the one more video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can build your own GAP RC Mark V, the squashed X frame and this is only the tutorial for building up your frame and in case if you are confused with how you can build your own, uh, if you have received your kit, frame kit from GAP RC, so here is the tutorial video. So let's get started. For this build, you just need the kit, multi set screwdriver kit. And of course, this will be provided with the kit as well. Uh, you will need uh, two different sizes of uh, Allen key screw, uh, screwdriver, or you can use the one which comes with the kit itself. But it's too simple, so I'm using this one. And after getting the package, you can see there are several different types of screws, the frame parts, the carbon fiber frame parts and aluminum alloy parts for the mounting of your camera. This is the DJ O3 version. So you will get these two types of aluminum frame, uh, which actually allows you to mount your DJ O3 camera specifically. So uh, and you will get several other 3D printed parts like this one here. These are all flexible TPU 3D printed parts. And of course, there are few aluminum standoffs including this one. This one is the small one. The small one goes for this aluminum parts. So these other four are similar in size. So can see the I have already installed all those four uh, aluminum standoffs within this 3d printed part okay so you just need to insert two aluminum standoffs into the antenna holder this is the lollipop antenna holder so once inserted like that, you can push this uh, second uh, 3D printed parts into the first one, I mean this Wallipop folder. So make sure you align this notch outside, outside of this don't uh, install in this place because this will go inside and this one actually intended to uh, direct some airflow to the O3 VTX so this one would go like this I mean sorry like this this way so on the frame at the rear part so here you can see this will guide the airflow while flying into the VTS directly so you need to install properly like this so once you are done installing these aluminum standoffs within the 3d printed parts you can keep it aside and you can take this and you can see here the aluminum designs and any designs or cutouts on this side but you can see there are some carvings in this side so that it's uh, you can see the shining part so this is the outside so this one goes to the left side and uh, you can uh, check this uh, 3d printed uh, vibration dampener and you can align it properly and press it inside to install this one within this frame install the other one as well once you install those two you can and take this aluminum standoff and make sure you have the small bit I'm going to install the smaller one screw I hope it's visible a blue marked screw you need two of them so take one screw and insert in this hole scroll and just uh, start threading it in these standoffs are uh, both side threaded so very easy to install the screws. You are happy with installing that. 
can align the other one and insert the another screw here you can simply you might take some helping hand so this one is the carbon fiber top plate for this aluminum alloy part so along with this you need to find uh, after screwing this twin you don't need this one the smaller bit you just need the bigger allen key so take these small uh, flatted screws the smallest one and uh, you can screw all these in make sure you tighten them very well because uh, while flying uh, due to the motor vibration the whole frame is subjected to some kind of vibrations and that might lead to the screw loosening so make sure you tighten them properly and also if you have the loctite glue you can use it as well fp camera housing part and the rare vtx part the 3d printed ones so we will keep that aside I'm going to take the bigger one now yes so this plate actually the middle plate middle plate uh, this is the bottom plate and here is the top plate so this top plate uh, you will get this uh, rubber pad which you can uh, uh, just uh, peel it off and you can stick it on to the top plate uh, you can just align it properly this is the rubber pad for uh, holding the battery in place uh, the battery shouldn't slide while you strap it in this will give some proper gripping to the battery countersink holes uh, board on this top plate so that means uh, you need some counter uh, sink type of uh, screws these are like uh, sit flat and flush on this top plate so these screws must be used for the top plate there are uh, you will get around six of them because there are six holes so we will keep this aside here and <laughs> here we have uh, m2 by 8 I, th I think so m2 by 8 screws uh, you need five of them okay just take five of them from the pack and here we have uh, what we have here is uh, m2 by 14 i know i'm not sure 2 by 14 or 2 by 10 you can check the pack so since i don't have the pack right now just these are i will tell you these are the longest screws in the package okay uh, you will get four of them four longest screws you should keep aside here and a bit smaller than these long screws you will get five of them and you can keep this aside here so here we have the middle plate which has the screw insert i mean nut inserts and align the smallest uh, carbon fiber part like so this is the middle plate this is the bottom most plate keep it like this and put a screw in this in the middle of this portion the a 2 by 8 screws i guess this is the 2 by 14 if you think it's the longest screws they are here this is a bit smaller ones and the one screw will go in the middle Uh, don't tighten this screw too much at the beginning itself let it uh, rotate like this so that it's easier for you to arrange the I mean install the arms <laughs> see uh, there are four arms you will get in the package uh, you need to uh, keep them aligned like this these are the vibra uh, landing pads I already installed it and here you can see the tubes uh, they call this as uh, motor hubs I'm not sure why they call like this because but actually they will align and keep the motor wires intact you can see there are there is a hole here you can in, after installing the motor here you can run the all these three wires from the motor to the ESC so it won't be tangling around or you not know, creating any mess 
can also use the zip ties if you miss one of them so after uh, screwing it like this uh, how you can distinguish between front arms and rear arms here is the thing you can see there is a small notch here and you can't see any notch in this one uh, these two are the front arms you should uh, keep like this this is the front part of the frame bottom most plate front part is this one not this one it should go like this so uh, after uh, keeping like that you can arrange this in the similar fashion I will show you actually how it uh, goes uh, within these two plates okay I will keep this aside actually uh, this here is a small cutout that goes to the within the frame like this and this one comes mm, like that very simple right but a uh, bit hard to screw it in place uh, i will try we will try this out just will give it a bit of tight uh, uh, don't tighten it too much because and these four screws screws uh, you can install them one by one here in these four holes one two three four don't install these screws in these four holes these four holes screws will come in for these holes these are smaller ones and it will go directly from here there we have a first one make sure you align this all the time properly in the middle one and take one of this screw as well and insert it so that this arm will stay in place it won't move further and you can install this screw and then insert the rear arm take one more screw and install in this screw hole like so the one at the end so <coughs> Here is our uh, 50% done, 50 to 80% you can say, in the frame, 80% done frame. And now after that you can install all these four screws in the remaining holes. There would be uh, two screws a bit uh, difficult to push it in. Mm, actually they tend to select you can use the screw driver to push it in like that in case if you find hard because it should be a bit hard so that it will keep the tension of the frame and give it the purpose the whole thing if, uh, okay two will be tight and two will be loose so that Mm. after done screwing all these things just turn it over you can take this uh, 3d printed part and push it inside the screw this uh, insert will go for these two screws yeah. actually if you have all those electronics you can uh, install after installing the DJI VTX here uh, DJI's uh, video transmitter I mean the O3 air units transmitter thing will go here yes and it's about 8 mm that means m2 by 8 
m to the 8 screws will go in this one one screw here actually try checking it out so here is the top plate so all these six screws are going on top of this okay This small thing can screw it on here. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any doubt, please let me know in the comment section. So I will try my best to help you out. because i am also planning to make video on full build of this mark 5 so i'm waiting for the electronics to arrive once it arrives i will be making another video maybe part 2 where i will show you how you can install the electronics including the dji o3 unit and actually that completes a build you can see it's actually complete you can take these sticky foam pads and install onto the arms forearms so it will stay a bit off from the ground this is the standard version but if you go for pro version you will get a uh, some more screws and four 3d printed parts that will goes all these four corners on the arms i don't know the actual purpose of this but i thought this is enough for my build actually it's not necessary anyways i have got my 3d on 3d printer so i can print it rather than spending another uh, 20 20 dollars i guess so like subscribe and share this video and i will see you in the next one